So this should be day day two at the boatyard. Well, really, it's day one. Day one was getting there at 9.30 and getting hauled out at 4 p.m. This is day one at the boatyard. By typical sailor styles, I'm going with Robin on his boat, Elida. Elida? Elida. Let's go. Say hi to Celestina. Hey. So we're Robin and Celestina now in Elida and they're heading to the boatyard. Steve's coming too. He's already taken off the bow lines. Your bow lines are off, Robin. Right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, now we play the waiting game. They better hurry their ass up. I need to start Annie fouling. <laughs> Hello again, Annis. Hi, good morning. <laughs> this is Annis from the Port of Fish Shipyard. We work on my shipyard. So we've got a leader there, Tarek, who you met. That's his boat. We got Steve's boat. And now we've got Sunday here. We got job number one. We got the rudder bearing. So we're going to drop the rudder and fix the bearing. Job number two. When we hit that rope, we damage our cutlass bearing. It's not really bad, but it needs to be fixed. So job number two, we're gonna fix that. The rope also ripped out all the silicon here. We'll let this dry out and at the last minute, I'll clean that up and re it. Give it a light sand to get the surface rust on because over the next 24 hours, we'll get a bit more rust on these surface spots. That's just what happens with iron. What else? So that was job number three. Okay, job number four. On the bow thruster here, sand this back. Um, I sand it all off and I replace it with some epoxy resin. Job number five, I'm going to sand all this back here and all these little bits here. I'll give them a light sand and Primacon and then I'll put anti foul over it. There's our alarm. <laughs> Your boat's blue! I knew he was going to be pissed. I'm so sorry, Steve. I put the camera on if you want it. <laughs> Poor Steve. When they sprayed our anti-foul, we got blue everywhere. But Steve's got blue all over his boat. Thought he'd be a lot more angry. Oh, Steve. He let me do it. <laughs> Did you have a sponge? I'll sponge you hose. Look at this boy. <laughs> sponge. Look at what you're doing, man. <laughs> you're wearing my shoes. I'm going to give him a hand because I feel so bad. It literally, the antifoul went everywhere yesterday. And I thought Steve was going to be even more pissed off. But he's actually all right. <laughs> Steve, I'm sorry. I'm a freaking smurf. My boat's a smurf now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Papa right, Smurf, it's all right. <laughs> Robin's going in now. So, uh, Robin! I don't think any of us really know what we're doing. Do you know what you're doing? <laughs> so the beauty about coming to these places is just like, you get the, the work experience, that's for sure. So here I am, helping lift out a boat. Just ask them if they can take one of the straps off because there's three straps on the back there. We don't want to get his prop shaft, so they can't take him off, but they can tie him together. So they're going to do that. Robin's going to lift it out now, pull it in right next to us. I know, I could probably jump on the lift here. I feel like in Australia, uh, they would have this all roped off and you wouldn't be allowed to go anywhere near it. <laughs> Oh uh, look, oi, <laughs> how do you feel? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what's this one do? Hopefully nothing. Oh, there we go. No, put it in there, it might do something. Better, better put it back in there. Yeah. Don't mess around with it. So, Steve's been upstairs with Anis talking about prices and just trying to work out what he's gonna do with his boat. He must get a good deal because look, just smile for a sec. You must got a real good deal up there. Yeah, yeah, you got, got a little bit of something on your lip there. <laughs> but I haven't really started work yet. But I'm um, doing the old cleaning up the prop again, making it look all nice and shiny. Before we take it off, I got my tool bench. So I'll keep cleaning this up and then uh, we'll start pulling it off.
taking the prop. Thank you, mate. We've been at this bit here for so long trying to pull this off. And uh, we finally popped it off the bearing puller, but we had to grind out the edges here of the bearing puller because this bit here was in the way, because that's quite wide. We got it working and it just cracked, which is good, but I forgot to hit record. And we tried, we kept hitting record. I got like half a dozen clips of this trying to get this off. And the last one when it finally worked, I didn't hit record. So here we go. Here's the culprit of this lift out. So now we're gonna remove this cutlass bearing. All right, day one's done, we're back here. No, no, oh, no, it's no, a no, big no. one too. <laughs> where's mine? We had three. Where, no, where's my mojito? Okay, everyone, I'm an absolute mess. I've been running around town like a crazy person all day. Went and visited Ryan in the boatyard to check on him. They're just getting everything set up. And on my third trip back, Tracy and I were walking through the marina and there's three, probably three week old kittens screaming from the top of their lungs. But I said to Tracy, we'll just leave them for now because maybe mum's just left them for a little while. So we went back to the boatyard for a couple hours, came back and they were all three screaming now and they were running around trying to get somebody to help them basically. I had nowhere safe to put them, so I put them in the closet. <laughs> Hi babies. Let's see the one with the really bad eye. The eye that's in there looks damaged. It's not just like an infection. It looks like the eye's gone. So we're going to give him some medicine to fix that up and I'm going to try and bottle feed them now. I think that's dead. I mean, it looks pretty gnarly, but I've just put some ointment in there. Just likes to scream. It's okay. All right, it's day two at the boatyard. Caught a cab here, cost us two Dina, one Aussie dollar, about 60 euro cents. Yesterday, we was just getting things settled, taking the prop off. I spent about three hours looking for a socket that I didn't end up needing, I just used a spanner. <laughs> Brittany's gone to the vet this morning as well. She picked up three new kittens yesterday. Uh, one of them's missing an eye or something, and um, I don't know, I think they've been either been dumped or the mum's been attacked by a dog again. So now we've got 11. 11 cats. It's really, really kind of like a losing battle here, but I guess we just make a difference one at a time. Hopefully people watch these videos and they get inspired to to treat animals better. I, mean, I don't even like talking about it. It's really hard to talk about. It's just terrible what you see here, which we don't film because it's not something you want to film, but thank you guys for helping us do it. All right, let's get back into it. While Brittany's at the vet, I'll get started working. Good morning, everyone. Look at me. Kittens? Kittens. Currently trying to find a taxi so I can run to the vet. Like, Jesus. I think we need to get out of here because there's a lot that need help and we can't do a lot about it. It's driving me nuts a bit. Ryan's gone down to the boatyard. I'm just gonna sort these guys out and then I'm gonna head down there and meet him. Start scraping the boat. All right, so I've got the um, dripless shaft seal. We're gonna replace that. I don't really need to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And that there is where the prop shaft's attached to on those plates. So we're gonna undo those screws. I think there's about four screws there. We're gonna undo, and then we've got to pop the, one of those plates off. We'll show you that afterwards. Then we slide it all the way down. Before we start that, I'm just gonna drop the rudder and just double check, because we are on concrete, just double check that I actually can um, take that shaft out. They're getting this little hole. Oh. Oh. This is actually my water maker. I haven't made the video yet because I haven't finished it. Oh, there we go. Come on, mate. Oh, yeah. yeah. This sucks ass. Okay. We've got the steering quadrant. They're my cables for the steering. I've got a steering wheel on that side and I've got one on this side. Here's my autopilot. This is my tube stock. Thingy, you know what I mean. So while I undo them, um, Robin and Steve are gonna be downstairs making sure the prop doesn't actually fall on the ground. So I'm 
just sitting here editing this video and it's so funny it's like they're dropping the keel oh that looks pretty good oh no actually i think it needs to go a bit lower yeah what about there oh no move it over yeah look at it a bit close and it's at this point i think ryan's just completely forgotten that he's got the camera rolling because they just sit back talk for a little while and then they go over to steve's boat they think oh let's point at a few things admire our work yeah we've done a good job today guys well done and you can just see their brains ticking around going i think it might be time for a beer what do you think yeah let's go up they go one two three up the ladder it's beer time don't worry about the camera after uh putting that rudder down it deserves a nice cold beer cheers thanks for helping me with the thing all right Brittany's here what's up she's back on the sander guys a bit of a catch up so i've been sick the last couple days and i came down with some sort of stomach bug and i was so weak i just couldn't even get out of bed the only benefit to it is it kickstart my weight loss journey because i haven't been able to eat anything i'm really pale in the face you can see still ryan's been down at the boat yard and i'm about to go down to the marina office and pay for our room but we've actually had to extend it for a week an extra week with ramadan which is their religious holiday here it's coming to the end of it and they decided to go into a full-blown lockdown for a week so the crane lift driver to drop the boat in and everything is a operating so we thought we'll extend this for a week ideally we didn't want to i mean the room's really good price but it's not in our budget to stay here forever but i mean there's nothing we can do about it and we're so full right now with kittens and the dog and everything that it's not worth trying to do anything else about it so i'm gonna go extend that now Okay, so I don't know why, but we're having some serious issues with our bank cards here, but only with this marina office. We can use them everywhere else. So I'm quickly gonna run to an ATM, try and get some cash out, because they keep bugging us for payment. I think they think we're trying to dodge them on the payment. <laughs> Brittany's back in the room editing the video. It's Sunday today. She's been running around doing things off the boat because there's not a lot of work to do this time around on the hard. I'm doing everything myself. Before we start though, Brittany brought me a croissant yesterday. Chocolate croissant for breakfast. And that's my lunch. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna do the epoxy yet because um, these guys are gonna polish today, which is good. This can here is the definition of TIA. Hey Steve. Yeah. So Steve's cleaning his boat and the guys here are polishing the uh, good old Sunday. So we got Anna's here, the owner of the boatyard. Look at that, it's like a mirror. Hi, hello everybody. <laughs> So where was I? That's right. I was marking this bad boy. So I marked it here and we're going to pull it off now. Let's see how this goes. The way I'm going to pull it off, I'm going to actually freeze the shaft slightly and then heat the, the, the whatever. The... All right, guys. So yesterday we um, failed at removing this uh, coupling off the prop shaft or whatever you want to call it. I was there all day. I bent my spanner. I bent things, I broke things, uh, I swore a lot and I wasn't happy. And um, if you don't remember when we redid our water pump in um, our video a few weeks back, we got Ant from Pavitus, this is over in Sicily. Just to make sure there's no dog hairs. Yeah, yeah. It sure is. Anyway, 
I could have got it off, so made the quick call to Ant in Sicily. Boom, boom, boom. A few days later, here he comes. He's now in Tunisia. <laughs> <laughs> hey? Things we do for you, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So check him out on uh, YouTube, SV and Pavidus. They do all the technical stuff and um, real good how to, like real good how to videos. So Jason Strathon's hopped on his private yacht and cruise over to Tunisia now. And he's going to help me get this. <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> I was like, I'm not getting ad. I'm not getting ad. I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna get this done. I spent all day on it. I bent everything, and you come, and it took eight seconds of time lapse. That's all I got on. You know what? It's just gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> Should we just knock that off now then? Well, can we just sit here and have a few beers? <laughs> just come down after five minutes. <laughs> All right, you gotta watch out for the step. The first, the first step is oh, hanging on by rope. Hang on. This one here. Yeah, but there's a broken world off. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's a crack halfway down too. <laughs> Where's safety Steve when you need him? Yeah, yeah, TIA. Yeah. Oh. We must have loosened it off yesterday, right? What's that? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, you I definitely... think we did. <laughs> oh, I need to go. I was doing it myself, but I've grabbed the camera and Ant's just jumped on. Oh, look at that. See, oh, who said that taking these out are hard? You know what? If it's hard taking your cutlass bearing out, get a bloody rubber one like this. Or get an ant. Yeah, get yourself an ant. He'll do it. <laughs> He'll do it in eight seconds. Ant does everything in eight seconds. Oh, yeah. See, it is tight, isn't it? There you go. There you go. Yeah, that worked out well. Oh, that looks much better than the, uh, than the old one. Good on you, mate. Yeah, thank you, uh, Ant. No worries. Really, mate. thank you. You're a lifesaver. Well, you've done it now, haven't you? So next time you do it, it'll be easy. Top tip of the day, get someone else to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So find yourself an ant. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you. All right, mate, no oh. worries. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're going home. Robert? So <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's getting robbed, it's you. Yeah. Why? Because, oh, turn right, your because phone around. Oh, right. Because of that 20. He's got 20, 20 dinner on his phone case. <laughs> Four tourists walking down a lonely road. <laughs>